Let's take a look at another example for probability, finding the probability. In the test of gender selection technique, results consisted of 274 baby girls and 276 baby boys. Based on this result, what is the probability of a girl born to a couple using this technique? Does it appear that this technique is effective in increasing the likelihood that a baby will be a girl? Well, let's go ahead and find out what's the probability that if a couple had a baby, that it will be a girl. Well, first we have to take a look at how many babies this sample consisted. So it was 274 girls and then 276 boys. So all together, let's go ahead and add those together. There's 550 total babies. And then how many of them were girls? 274. So if I wanted to find out what's the probability that a baby will be a girl using this technique, I'll take the number of babies that were girls and divide it by the total amount of babies that there were. So we have 274 divided by 250, oh, I'm sorry, 550. Let's see what this gives us. 274 divided by 550, we get 0. Point, see it says three decimal places, so 0. 0.498818. Now rounding this to three decimal places, this is approximately equal to 0. 0.498. Okay, so let's go ahead and put, put in our answer. 0 0.498. Okay, and now it's asking if this technique is effective. So does the appear does the technique appear to be effective in improving the likelihood of having a girl? Well, having a girl is a 50-50 chance. This is just I mean almost 50% chance of having a girl. So this technique does not appear to be effective.